All right, so we're here in line at Harry's. Seafood. That is a line here. Just to get on the wait list here at Pubic Harry's. So we're going to wait in this daunting line just to get put on the wait list, which is going to be about when we checked before we got in line was an hour. So it should be a, uh, give us a couple hours to roam the city, roam this little area, and uh, this should be really, really interesting. So we get to find out what all the hype is about and why this place has such a daunting line to even just get on the wait list. So this, this should be uh, fun. St. Augustine. St. Augustine. Ah. All right, so we're back here at Harry's. Where there's still a massive wait. So, anyways, they've got a nice waiting area. Some really cool lights. And this is the outdoor seating area. Very nice. Check those blows. Would you let them blow on your horn? There's the bar. Oh, very cool. Just look at that. Very cool. Here's some. Uh, this is uh, 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 Lots of pictures of dudes blowing on boards here. And check this out. And it looks like the stairway goes up another level. Here's the dining room. So you can go up th these stairs and come up here. Here are the restrooms. Here's another bar. There's the dining room. Pretty cool. And they also have seating out here. Look at this. Oh, this is awesome. Wow, this is totally cool. Beautiful. And there's the bridge. Wow. Awesome. Watch your head. Fuck. Oh, and here's a view from our table. Beautiful. Just such a nice. Wow. And I'll be right with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here is a, a good look at our Mardi Gras parade of flavors. Wow, this looks good. Chicken baton rouge. Jazzy shrimp. Louisiana shrimp and crawfish pot pie. Wow. Chocolate bread pudding. Pomegranate Pen's cup. And check this out. Here is just a quick look. To the menu, here he balls. There's the starters, soups and salads, burgers, handhelds, po'boys, bourbon street favorites, signature dishes, chicken and steak. These are all the sides. And there's the site where you can look it up. Fried platters, desserts. Alright. And check this out. These are the wines, cocktails, draft beers, souvenirs. Alright, so here is our warm bread and butter, with butter. Oh, this looks good. So it looks like, almost like sub bread. Um, 
looks like. Yeah. Wow. It's very. I can already feel it's very light, light, fluffy. Oh man, look at the inside. Wow. Yeah, that looks really good. My drink is. And uh, so Ginger got the Big Easy. What is the Big Easy? Captain Morgan, Spice Rum, Southern Comfort, Amaretto, Banana Liqueur, Midori, Pineapple, and Sour. Wow, that looks amazing. If I still drink, um, yeah, I'd be all over that. I was thinking about it. Be jealous. Do what? Be jealous. Is it that good? Wow, it sounds really good. buttered bread, so I like split it down the middle, added some butter, and I should like butter the top of it, but anyways, here we go. Mm. Mm. So this is like a very soft bread. It's like biting into a bread. And this butter has like this garlic kick to it that just, it, it almost makes it taste like garlic bread, but it's still so soft. And a little slight crisp on the outside. Uh, this is actually really good. Much better than I thought it would be. It looked good, but it tastes a whole lot better. This is awesome. And we're going to take another bite of this. This is just so good. Mm. That butter, the bread and butter, that butter is so fluffy, so light, it's whipped to like just air. It's amazing, like the closest thing you can get to just air, but it's got such a strong taste. Um, it's really, really good. It's so, all right, so our first item to ride to the table besides the bread and butter is. This wonderful looking shri shri she crabs too. So this wonderful looking she crabs too. Oh man. Wow. Let's try this out here. Alright. So we're gonna try some she crab soup. Alright. Alright, let's let's try this. That is like, that's crazy good. What do you think, Ginger? Really good. Oh man. Wow. That's freaking amazing, actually. That's like, I don't know what they do to this, but it's, it's off the, yeah. It's gross, right? Is it good? Oh my goodness, this is some serious sea crab soup. Dude, I love it. So this uh, she crab soup, it's like really sweet. It's got that perfect like, crab. It's kind of like a seafood taste to it. Um, it's just phenomenal. And like all the corn and stuff is nicely. It's like a little bit grinded up. It's really good. Very, very good. Next is this shrimp and crawfish cheese fondue served with these baguettes. And, um, and now, yeah, so this has got like a lot of cheese, shrimp, crawfish, a lot of cheese, shrimp, crawfish, and um, so this should be really good. So we're going to try this next. All right, so Lola is scooping up some of the cheese fondue and putting it on this baguette. Ginger's doing the same. So it, the, the, the top is almost like a film because of the way it was cooked, the way it was baked on. And you just kind of cut into it, scoop it off, and... Put it on the uh, baguette, and let's see how Ginger likes this. Good? Mm. Here we go, check that out. Oh man. Mushrooms, crab meat, all kinds of good stuff, and uh, the, the baguettes 
are not the baguettes I'm used to. They're kind of soft in the middle, even though they're hard on the outside. Very good. So when you bite into it, it's nice and soft, but a little crispy. This cheese is just fantastic. It's just melted. Um, it's got a creamy texture, and it's filled with all kinds of cool stuff. Like you can hear, see here the crawfish um, shrimp pieces. It's just magnificent. This is fantastic. Mm. Harry. Hurricane. The Pirates Hurricane? Harry's. Oh, Harry's Hurricane, okay. So yeah, Ginger just got Harry's Hurricane. And uh, I don't know what's in it, but... It's a hurricane. It's a hurricane, yeah. It's got alcohol in it and stuff, and it's a hurricane, yeah. So yeah, let's try that out. Good. Oh man. Oh nice. Like a fruit punch? Oh wow. Oh, definitely tastes the rub. Wow. That looks amazing. Alright, so our entrees have arrived and this is the crab crusted red fish, I believe. I believe that's what it is. Um, so it's got these two nice fish um, covered in crab. So it's like the, the crab meat is cooked onto these two fish, which looks awesome. If you look a little closer, you can see it. And um, it's served over mashed potatoes, the corn, and this sauce here. Ginger has the uh, New Orleans shrimp and scallops, and it's served over, uh, what is it, a grit cake? Like a uh -huh. fried grit, grit cake, and covered with some sort of sauce here. And uh, she's got uh, the greens. And then we got the corn chow 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 do or chow chow whatever yeah <laughs> sorry we're not Cajuns yeah corn chow mu or something we don't know the terminology yeah corn mal chew or yeah something like that yeah corn mal chew or something um, Lola got the chicken uh, chicken Orleans is that it's, uh, it was okay. on the specialty menu. Yeah, it's, it's on the specialty menu. Yeah. So it's yeah. goat cheese. Tomatoes. Wow. Yeah, that looks really good. Oh man, and then Stella. Now she's got this grand platter of shrimp and french fries. The envy of the table. Alright, so yeah, this is going to be good. I I'm really excited to try this out here. This just looks amazing. I know. I know you are. But what am I? Oh man. So this looked like two pieces of fish, but it's actually like the crab. So this is the crab, this is the fish. It looked like two pieces of fish because the way it was just cooked. And I'm like looking through a camera, didn't really examine this that well, but this up here is crab. So this is the crab, this is the fish. That looks awesome. You probably noticed this before I did, but. Oh uh, wow, that looks incredible. That looks really good. Going in. Here we go. Got a little bit of the uh, crab, and I've got the fish, and I've got some of the sauce dripping there at the end of it. So let's see what this is going to be all about. Just a well-rounded seafood taste. Um, there's a little bit of crunch, a little bit of crust-ishness on the outside. It's like a little, 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 uh, little season, very well. It's got a bit of a crunch, but it's very salty. In the way that the two uh, seafood items, the, sh the shrimp and the, and the, uh, the crab, I'm sorry, not the shrimp, the uh, fish and the crab blend together. It's just fantastic like this is really really good especially with the sauce wow i'm i'm blown away by this this is phenomenal really good i went for a small bite mm. Oh my god. That's too funny. Hello, my name's Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I got another 
there. <laughs> I just had a punch in the head with a hammer. <laughs> Oh, your tooth done fell out. <laughs> God damn. <dang. laughs> your tooth done fell out. Damn. Hey. Oh, man. Mine's good. Let me see. Mine's Who are you? She's What done happened to your tooth? She done junk up. Yeah. Case of Mountain Dew a day growing up. And look what done happened to her. No damn. All that Mountain Dew. Your daddy giving you chewing tobacco. Some snuff. Goddamn. You learned to your parents have a meth lab in the house? Learn to shut your mouth. All right, so. This is one of those dishes where the more you eat it, the more you learn about it. Um, there's so much to it. Um, that sauce is so good. It's it's like a Cajun cream sauce. I wish I knew the name of it, but I don't. But it does have a nice peppery kick to it. It's creamy and it, it, it just brings out such an amazing flavor on the fish and the crab. The mashed potatoes were wow. Those are homemade mashed potatoes. And they're the kind of mashed potatoes that are really creamy, but you can tell that like these came from potatoes, right? Not from, you know, whatever. These are like made in this kitchen fresh probably every day. And they are just unbelievable. These this was just out of this world good. Wow, and then the way the corn was kind of mixed into the sauce, and you get all that flavor and all the stuff in the bites, it's just fantastic. Uh, this is why you see the lines just like wrapped around this building. It's that good. Wow. Okay, next is the, uh, the shrimp and scallop New Orleans. We're going to go ahead and try this. Because Susan and I will split the plate. We like the same stuff, but now we're going to try to split more of two different things so we can try it and we can make better videos because too often we only get one thing. We both get the same thing. So, but check this out. Here is the shrimp. Mm. And we're going in with this beautiful scallop here. Look at that. Wow, so that's got a, a really good kick to it. It's spicy. It might be the same or a similar cream sauce to the one that was on my dish. Very peppery, but very good. The scallops are just cooked with the fat you bite into it, just flakes apart. It's like it melts in your mouth. Um, these shrimp, almost like they're canned seared, but they're really good. They've got a little bit of like uh, caramelization on the bottom or on the sides of the shrimp. And the way it goes together with this uh, grit cake. Uh, this is a fried grit cake. You see that? And once you put the sauce on it, and once you put the shrimp and the scallops with it, it just is fantastic. It's a phenomenal mix of uh, seafood and the grits and the, and the uh, spices. It just lights up your tongue taste-wise. It's so freaking good. This is some legit Cajun food. For real. Two more things to try here. Number one, the greens. Now, if you look at these greens, they have like bits of sausage in mixed in with them. There we go. Ah, we get a good look at that. Okay, so greens with a nice chunk of sausage. Let's see what this is all about here. Mm. Whoa. Look, so these, these greens are really good. A little bit of spice in them. They're very beefy. Um, that's one of the things that, that is very important for greens to be good, is for them to be more on the leafy side. Like so. Uh, really good. 
These are these are excellent greens. These are really good. So I'm not going to describe the greens too much because you kind of don't expect the good greens. The greens. These are really good greens, and I'll let your imagination take it from there. All right, we're going to try this corn. That corn was right on. Um, it's almost like a like a, a salad, like a corn salad. If you look, you've got all these little pieces of diced up vegetables. Now, if you see how these vegetables are diced up, it was similar to this in the corn chowder. So the corn was diced up like that too. It was more chopped up, which I loved. It was great. Um, but this is really good. So all these diced uh, veggies and bits of sausage mixed in with um, these whole pieces of corn. So yeah, this is uh, this is a pretty good side. If you like corn like I do, this is definitely oh, worth trying. All right, so here is the final bill. Um, I was blown away by how reasonable this was for what we got. Uh, first of all, shouts to Patrick. You were awesome. Patrick took care of us today and he was fantastic. Um, wow. So, the Big Easy, the fondue. Big Easy is one of the drinks. Um, and then we had the she crab bowl. So we got a lot of stuff. Like we got an appetizer. Everyone got an entree. Stella ordered off the kid menu. So it's three adults, one kid menu on um, item. And then we uh, got the she crab soup in addition to the uh, fondue. And uh, we got the side of the, uh, the corn. And it came out to $131.90, which is for the quality that you get here. It's like I would expect to pay like $100 more for the amount of food that we got. Yeah, yeah, we thought it was going to be 200 something dollars. This is, yeah, yeah, you got two alcoholic beverages. We got the uh, bowl of sheet crab soup. We got the fondue. You know, three adult items, and that's 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 fantastic. Lola. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting dirty looks. <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, this this is excellent. Highly, highly, highly recommended. And um, the the price here for for being where it is, for being what it is, I, I just can't wrap my mind around how fairly priced this is and how good this food was. So Harry's gets an A+. Plus. Um, yeah, Harry's. If you're in St. Augustine, go to Harry's, okay? Go to Harry's. Go to Harry's. There's a reason the line's wrapped around the, the, the building. All right. What did you say? said there's a reason for the height. Yes. There's a good reason for the height. Yeah, very good reason for the night. Very good. Alright. So we are heading out. That was just purely freaking amazing. Alright, so yeah, that was some really good food. That was a memorable dining experience. And uh well, give one more look. Uh, some of this beautiful scenery here in St. Augustine. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next adventure, everyone. Wow. Sights upon sights to behold here in St. Augustine, Florida. Thank you for checking out this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye everybody.